Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jason and I'm your watch guy today. Now, as a lot of you may have noticed, I've been trying to get in a few more dress watches lately and that's because my collection doesn't really have many dress watches in. But that doesn't mean that they're the type of watch that I don't enjoy. Now, I think the best dress watches have to have a really nice captive dial. Need to bring it in and make you want to read the time. But they also need to look really elegant, fit under a shirt sleeve, and looked apart for formal occasions. Now one that does all of the above really well is the Seiko Cocktail Time, and that's an absolute favorite among a lot of collectors. I don't have one of them in today. What I do have is Pagani Design's answer to the Cocktail Time. It is the PD1654. Now you may have seen me unbox this with the Pagani Design GMT. It's a very pretty look and watch and it comes in at an absolutely amazing price. It's only £30, which translates to around $35 and it's packed with a Seiko movement. It is packed with the Seiko VH65, which is a quartz movement, but it does have a sweeping sort of hand motion, which is really nice to see. So guys, I'm going to turn this camera around and we're going to get into this review. So guys, here we have our Pagani Design PD one six five four you will see it being called a cocktail time around the internet and around forums and that's because of that dial that we have here the dial effect even very cocktail time-esque i'd say i am going to say from the beginning it is not as nice as the real deal unfortunately so this is packed with a seiko vh65 movement in diameter it comes in at 40 millimeters which is probably on the higher side for a dress watch thickness is 10.7 millimeters i have it look to lug we have 45 millimeters which is very wearable i found that it also conforms very nicely to your wrist and we have 20 millimeter lugs so you wouldn't have any problem in changing this bracelet now this is a gold colored high polish casing throughout uh, i'm not sure if it's stainless steel I haven't seen that advertised anywhere. I believe it could be some sort of chrome, maybe cheaper material and a chrome finish on top, which is kind of forgivable at this price range. For £30, you are getting quite a bit in this watch. It is quite a thin case, which is ideal for a dress watch, really. Easily fits under a sleeve, would go really nicely with a shirt. We have a clip on back, a push pull signed crown, and this watch quotes. 100 meters water resistance i'll just slot in a piece of advertisement here from pagani design they do claim that this is waterproof tested it's exactly what it says at the top so if that's true that's quite a feat for a dress watch being 100 meter water resistance with a clip on back and a pushing crown this is a nice domed piece of mineral crystal as you can see there, it has a little bit of AR coating on the top. Really lovely crystal. Distorts the dial quite nicely, especially around the edges. Now, as we move into the dial, this is the obvious standout feature of the watch. Really sets it off, and if I move you in closer, you can see that little pattern, that little 3D effect throughout the dial. It's a sort of sunray type of dial, I'd say. That's how I'd describe it, that's what it looks like to me. Very cocktail time-esque, and you can see where the comparison is being made from. I feel like this is quite a champagne type of colour. It looks very white on camera, and it looks very white in the advertisements, but in person it is a little bit of a champagne type of colour, a little tone to it. We have gold-coloured applied indices around the dial, with thicker ones at 12, 3, 6 and 9. As well as this, we have a Dufain colour matched handset. Very nicely pointed hands on this watch. Really goes with the style and design of the watch. Now, as you can see here, we have a date sub dial, which is embedded into the dial with a nice colour matched colour to it and every odd date around the wheel. Obviously, the dots marking the even dates. I hope you can see here that the second hand is in actually more of a sweeping type of motion. It has four ticks per second, which gives it a nice movement around the dial. That comes from the Seiko VH65 movement. And it's actually quite a pleasure to watch as it moves. I think that's a really nice feature to this watch. It makes it that little bit more elegant to me. The minute track is dotted in black around the edge of the dial and we have a printed logo at 12 as well as the water resistant 
10 bar 100 meter print at the six. Now, one thing I will point out here is that this dial isn't curved like the cocktail time. It's quite flat and therefore doesn't have the type of presence that the cocktail time does. But the domed mineral crystal does help the effect on the dial. Now, as we move around to the leather strap, this is actually quite a nice leather strap for the price that I've paid for this watch. It has stitching down the outer sides. It would be nice to see that in a contrasting colour. Would have given this a nice effect. We have a colour matched buckle with the printed logo here. Now, I have to wear this on the last setting. My wrists are quite small. It should fit any average size wrists quite well. So I have really enjoyed wearing this watch, but it doesn't come without its downsides. Now, you may think that I'd probably mention the mineral crystal instead of sapphire, but at 30 pounds, I could really pretty much accept that this is mineral crystal, especially considering that it's domed mineral crystal. That obviously adds a premium to the price of it. However, the flat dial kind of gets me down because they are obviously taking the styling from the Seiko Cocktail Time and the dial on that is just worlds above unfortunately. It doesn't give the best effect with the dial being flat. As well as that the hour hand comes slightly short of the hour markers. It would have been nice to see that overcome the hour marker or maybe just meet the hour marker. That would have given nicer effect to the handset I believe. Now the water resistance claim on this watch that that's quite a big one and let me explain why any watch that i've ever known to be 100 meters water resistance has had at least a screw down back now it's it's quite hard to believe that this watch is 100 meter water resistant with a pull push crown and clip on case back maybe i'm wrong here and pagani's design have done an amazing job with the water resistance on this watch but i'm not going to be taking it swimming unfortunately now my biggest moan of this watch is that sub dial it's not that it's there I, I think it's quite a nice effect it offsets the dial really nicely and with it being color matched it's a really nice feature my actual moan is the 31 to 1 date they're way too close together there's not an in between to separate them and it just looks like 311 doesn't it which is a little bit of a shame because it takes a lot away from that dial and that design now I'm going to finish this video with a wrist shot for you so you can see how this watch looks on wrist. Now as you can see it sits really nicely on my wrists, looks really good on wrist too, really nice elegant design and I think it'd be a really nice watch to be able to wear with a shirt or a suit and with that 11 millimeter case you can see that it fits really nicely under a sleeve, doesn't obstruct your sleeve in any way. I think it really does add I think it's a really good option at £30 as a dress watch. And I think Pagani's design have done quite well, to be fair, even though I did mention those couple of moans that I did have. So guys, that's the PD1654. It's a really nice, affordable choice for a dress watch, I've got to admit. Now, it comes in at £30, $35. So you could be quite hard-pressed to find something with the same type of featured dial as this at that price range. But that doesn't mean there's no other options on the market. Now, I think if you wanted to spend a little bit extra, maybe treat yourself a bit more, I do think the Bodetti that I unboxed in my last video is a really good option. That comes in at £56. Now, that is almost double the price of this watch, but it does offer a Swiss movement and it is a really nice, elegant watch, as well as it having a nice display case back on it. And if you were looking to go around the same price range, I think the Star Kings and the Cadisons of the world have something to say in this area. Obviously, I haven't had one of them on the channel yet, and I will try and get one in very soon, but they are a really good option at that price range. Now, if you wanted to pick up the Picardini Design PD1654, I have an affiliate link in the description. That doesn't cost you any extra money, but it does have a little kickback for me, and I would be very grateful if you did. Now, as ever, guys, please do subscribe to the channel. I'll have more content very soon. We're also nearly at 200 subscribers, which is amazing because I only said three videos ago that we were just about to hit 100. And I don't know where you've all come from, but I'm grateful to have you here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.